Hello there, my name is Ismos and uh, welcome to another Blender quick tip and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create patterns uh, like this without any hassle. Yeah, so let's get started. Uh, just create any shape you want, uh, any shape for the pattern you want. So let's go with a, a is it a hexagon? A hexagon, uh, that is six sides like that. I just fill it and uh, maybe give it a solidify modifier for thickness maybe a bevel so you have to start with a shape uh, that you want to duplicate into different patterns you also just turn on photo smooth and the random colors so if you want to uh, turn this into a pattern like uh, this hexagonal pattern or any other form of pattern uh, you can just add an array uh, but uh, And uh, then you just copy this array again. And uh, now what is left is to get the pattern you want to have. You can see uh, in this example here, we have this pattern here. So what you would do is uh, add an empty like this. Then select the modifier, uh, the second array system you have added and uh, turn on object offset and you can also switch off these relative offsets uh, set them to zero and then select this uh, select this empty as your offset object now you can select this empty and move it wherever you want uh, the pattern to be let me just increase my bevel here so that it's easy for us to see the pattern you can see now you can move it in any direction you want it to be. So if I want it to be this side, I just do that. Uh, so that uh, reduces the time you have to go around fidgeting with the numbers uh, that you think are supposed to work here. And uh, if you want to add, say, another copy around here, you can just copy again that array. And see, when I copied this, uh, it was the equivalent of just increasing uh, the count here. But uh, if you want, say, expand this array and uh, add more, uh, more, more duplicates on this side, I just duplicate the array and duplicate the empty. And uh, then target that empty, let's turn back the array. Now you can use that now to move that piece. So I think I should reduce uh, the count here to one, so that I think two, so that my PC doesn't lag too much. And I, can I can just position, reposition this. Yeah, so this works for any shape you want. I can even come in here and I delete uh, this shape. Let me just create a new shape here. just have to select these control points and start moving these around until the interlock in a satisfying way. Obviously uh, the pattern you create has to be tileable so let's make this that in but uh, yeah my part pattern here is not the best pattern so yeah but basically that's how you can work create patterns like this thank you for watching